Hi guys, it's me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. Today we are also doing our Make It Up Monday project. And for today's video, I thought we would maybe make kind of last minute, spur of the moment little stocking stuffer for little ones. As you can see there, it is a little crown holder. It holds eight crowns on the inside. Now this is a paid design in design space and I will share with you guys how to do the same exact thing I did here with a little outline of the tree, the cutout with the window sheeting, and also the to and from without um, paying for it. So let's go to the computer. I'll share with you guys what I did. We'll come back and put this little guy together. All right, at the computer, you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left-hand corner, where's the account. Click on that to sign in, and then enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you are logged in. You want to go to the right where it says All Categories, and then go ahead and click on Kid Crafts. On this page, you want to scroll down about halfway through, or about halfway down until you find the Valentine crown holder. Okay, it's right there. It's called the Valentine Crown Box Favor. Click on that. It's going to bring up the preview window. Under Project Resources, this shows you all the pieces that you're going to use to make the box. And you'll see the font they have selected is $4.99. We're going to get to remove that font at our own. We're able to cut this out for free. Bottom right hand corner, click on Customize. And it's going to bring up two boxes. There's one there and one there. We're going to go ahead and just cut out one. So I'm going to delete the other one. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add my text, left hand side toolbar. Click on Add Text, and then I'm going to write the words to. Click on Enter, write the word from. All right, now I have my font selected. I'm going to go to my Edit panel where it says All Fonts. Go ahead and click on that and change that to have a writing style. This way we're able to use our marker with it. Now, if you want to change the font, you could. I'm leaving mine at Cricut Alphabet, but to change it, just click on that and then just scroll down to find a font you like. I'm going to bring this over on top of the existing font just so I can kind of see it for size purposes. Now we can scooch that guy out of the way. I'm going, to get, I'm going to remove the heart and add a tree since I'm making this for a Christmas box. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. In the search box, type in the word Christmas tree. Now if you don't want to do a tree, you can do a star, you can do a shape, you can do a boy, a girl, dog, cat, really any image you want you could use. The one thing you want to keep in mind though, whatever image you use, you want to make sure it has a layer or a shadow behind it. So the image I'm using is this little tree right there. It is from the Cartridge Ribbons and Rosettes. I'm going to click on that, insert the image to my mat, and bring this over where the heart is. I'm going to unlock it to make it a little bit wider. Now you don't want to go too far down here because when you assemble the box, this piece is going to fold up and you're going to see that right here. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to go too far down. Make it a little bit wider on that one. Okay, I like the way that looks. I can set that guy aside. Now we need to remove all these pieces from the box. So have your box selected. Right click on the box. Click on detach. You can take the word to away and the word from. Right or click on your box again. Right click. Detach. Take the heart away. And then again, right click. Detach. And then take the other heart away. Okay, then you can take your mouse over all those pieces, click on the X to remove them. Now all we have left is the basic box itself. Now before we attach anything to this to cut it out, we have our score marks. We want to um, detach those as well. So click on your box again, right click to detach. Now we have our tree. We want to right click on that to ungroup. So we have the top layer and our bottom layer. We want to bring the top layer over. Just kind of put it on the front of your box where you would like it to go. Now you want to click on the tree, hold down shift on your keyboard, then click above the score marks. Go to your layer panel and then click on the word slice. That's going to cut the tree out of the box for us. Move that guy out of the way and that guy. Now if you want to make a tag, you can just save one of these and then add your to and from right to that tag if you want to. I'm going to click on it to remove it. All right, now this guy, we want the Cricut to draw this around that, so have that guy selected. Go to your layer panel, click on the tree over here, and you'll find out where it is. It'll be highlighted. Click on that and then change that to the word right. Then you're going to bring this guy over. I'm gonna, I need to right click on it, move to front, bring that over, and just kind of put it on top of your other tree, lining it up the best you can. Okay? I'm going to take the to and from. Before I do that though, I'm going to click on my box, right click on it, hit move backward. Now I can see the score marks. 
bring this over. I need to right click on that again, move to front. This way I'm able to put my text on there, my to and from on the box to where it's not going to interfere with my score marks. When you have everything where you like it, take your left mouse button across everything together, right click, and then you want to select attach. Do not click on group. It's important to do attach. This way it's going to attach the font and the tree to the box itself. All right, go ahead and click on go. Now if you want, you can do a 12 by 12. You're able to do two boxes on one 12 by 12 sheet or one box on eight and a half by 11. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is put your scoring tool in so it can score the score marks. Then it's going to ask you for a marker. It's going to draw the tree or the tree outline. For that, I did use a thicker marker. The next marker I used was a thinner marker to do the text. I'm going to click on go, cut this out, we'll go to the table and put the box together. Alrighty guys, we are back. Everything went and cut out. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take out this little circle that didn't cut out and go ahead and finger press on all my score marks just so I can see where the score line is. Take a bone folder and just give everything a nice crisp crease on the edge. One more little one right there. Yeah, I find when I finger press them, I have a better chance of lining everything up straight. Sometimes you just go ahead and trust the score mark and just give it a crease with your bone folder. Sometimes, in my case anyway, it'll go crooked. And you want to use a nice thick cardstock. This is um, Stampin' Up. Um, this is actually their always artichoke color. It's the only green color I had that I liked. You can, of course, make it on white. Now, if you don't want to make this for Christmas for a stocking stuffer, which I think is really, really cute, by the way, you could always change this out, you know, change the tree out, maybe put a birthday cake there, and you can um, use it for a birthday party favor, like little goodie bags. That'll be really fun. And you can do the two in the front on the outside. All right, I think we're good there. I think I got them all. Okay, now I want to go ahead and put a piece of plastic on the tree to cover that up. I'm just going to use a little cellophane bag here. I'm just going to cut some of this off and just kind of eyeball it pretty much. I'm going to take a marker, put this on there. I want to make sure I'm inside my score mark. I think I'm good that way. That was kind of good. All right, then bring it down this way and just draw a little line there so I know where to cut it at. Now this is a double bag, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the edge of this off and the top. I had two pieces there. Right, then go ahead and just dry fit it to make sure it's where you like it and you're not going past the score marks. Then take a liquid glue. I'm using the art glitter glue and I'm going to go relatively close to my tree but not so close. I don't want the glue to seep out and show on the outside. Just kind of go around it. Okay. Then take your window sheet or your bag, whatever you're using. Lay that on there and just give it everything a little press. Okay, just give it a second that glue to drap, um, grab on there for you. Okay, and I'm also where my corners are not glued down. Just lift that up a little bit and just put a little bit of dot of glue right there. I'm gonna hold that corner down. That way the crowns don't get caught on it. Same for this one over here. Put a little dot of glue there and hold that down. The bottom, I think we're good. All right. All right, we have that. Now, the sum of the box on the one side where your cutout is not, there's a smaller score and then the, a, a larger tab over here. You want to put the glue on your smaller tab. Now, I'm going to go to the edge. Now, if you want to use a stronger tape, you could like a score tape or a red tape, you can do that. I think the art glitter glue, though, is pretty strong. I wrote my other tab over, laying it on top, lining up my score marks and my edge left to right. Make sure I'm nice and straight and I'm even with everything else, and I'm not. Let's get it lined up. There we go. Let's get a little bit of rub to have that glue make contact. Okay, and there's our little box. Isn't that cute? And now down here on the bottom, where it's rounded, I found that to be a little bit too big, so I'm going to take my scissors and just kind of cut on an angle on the side there. Okay, then these little tabs, I forgot to score them down. So go ahead and score those guys, or press them down. Close this first for a little dry fit to make sure it's gonna close nicely for you. Okay, so I'm 
I'm still a little bit tight there. I'm going to cut off a little bit more here. I'm actually going to go up the side a little bit too. This is the bottom. Nobody will see this. I figured if you can make it to where it's easier for you to put together, why not, right? All right, go ahead and put this guy back in there. Make sure he fits better now. Okay, much better. All right, now what I'm going to do is take my glue, these two little tabs there, put just a little dot of the glue there. I like holding, or I like keeping the bottom shut. You don't have to do this part, but I don't want the crowns falling out either. All right, put that in there. Get it lined up in the bottom. I'm going to put it on my desk. And then take my bone folder and kind of go in there on the edge and to kind of grab them tabs so they'll glue down. Okay, just go in there with the bone holder this way. All right, now on the bottom, I have that opening there and that will bother me. So I'm going to take my glue again, just put a little bit of squirt in there, not too much. I don't want to seep it out the front. Close everything up, make sure it's even, and just kind of let, give it a second to dry. Now, I think these would be really cute for a, a um, favor at a birthday party. Even, even like for a little gift with um, you know, a coloring book. All right, let's take our crowns out. It just holds eight crowns, so you could pick up a really inexpensive pack of crowns. And I just have used ones here, but of course you would do brand new. And then put your crowns in. And you can see them through the front window. Love that. And that's cute. Now, I said before with make, the Make It Now section on Design Space, a lot of times it's intimidating, or you'll see something and think, oh, I'm not paying that. Let me five dollars for that font is crazy, for one. I would never pay that when you can just take it out and make your own font. But go ahead and go past that. You know, this was 99 cents, or actually it was 4 dollars with that font. You know, so you may very well overlooked it, but, you know, go in there and change things out. Add your own images, make it, make it your own, and you have a really cute box that it didn't cost anything to make. All right, so there we have that. Isn't that cute? I mean, how fun is that to put in the stocking? And you can do two Kevin from Nana or whatever. You know, really fun idea. Um, there's that one and then another one there. You can change them out, do different colors. You can do a white, have the outline in green. Um, all kinds of things you can do it. But there you have it, guys. Today's Making a Monday project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.